we have cut, cut holes about every so every inch or so on the inside of this. And all we've done is we've outfitted a speaker on the end. And the speaker acts as kind of a push. And all we're doing is we're going to create a frequency on the inside of there, and we're going to cause constructive and destructive interference on the inside of this tube. So what happens is once it comes down to the end and it reflects and it rebounds and it comes back, it's going to interfere with the wave coming in the first place. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to play some tones on the inside of this. So give me a second. Where are these waves meet each other? You're actually taking one long tube of gas and you're compressing them, just like sound waves. And you're actually compressing the gas in certain areas, forcing more gas out of the tube at specific points. And with this, you can then see a wave forming on top of the roof of the tube, <laughs> where the gas is being compressed. Yeah. 